it was like hey sharpay evans here for her solo actually sharpay and ryan was the same ryan <laughs> Who we are babysitting again. Back with Maxi Doodle. Maxi Doodle. He's sleepy. We just took a long walk. So my camera last night literally stopped working out of nowhere. And I haven't even had that camera for that long. Because it's like the one that kind of just came out for like vloggers. It's the ZV-1 from Sony. So I'm going to call, get the warranty situation figured out. Because I don't know what happened. Like no idea. So, actually, right now, the plumber is coming. Um, they actually came yesterday, too, because our sink has been leaking like crazy. So, literally, it was supposed to just be, like, a part getting fixed, but they couldn't get the part out, and apparently, the last people who did the sink, like, didn't do it right. He's like, in all my 40 years, I've never seen this. I'm so sorry. Like, so we ended up having to buy a new sink, but this one, they recommended this brand. It's, like, pretty affordable. Um, and I'm kind of excited because we actually kind of wanted to switch to like a black matte sink. Like literally y'all, I can't. <laughs> if you just turn it on for like a second, it's just been coming out of here, out of there, out of here. Um, but they worked on it for like an hour yesterday and could not fix it. So um, I just did a pickup from curbside pickup at Lowe's. Oh, <laughs> this is one of the brands they recommended. Um, it's actually like pretty affordable. It wasn't bad at all. So we actually ended up going with like a matte black. So I'm pretty excited. <laughs> Can't wait to get this fixed. It's been driving us nuts for like a month now. So I will show you guys once the guy comes and installs it in a little while. Also, I'm very excited because um, this finally came in the mail. I've been dying to try the honey mustard from G Hughes. I love his sugar-free barbecue sauce. It's super low point. I love honey mustard, but it's pretty high point. So we'll try that for lunch later. Why are you so cute? Why are you so cute? Let's hope that Max doesn't have a BF while this guy gets here. All right, y'all. It's all done. He was so quick. It looks so good. I just feel like it matches our aesthetic so much. And it was honestly super affordable. Like they told me it would probably be around 250 for a new sink and it was like under 200, I think. So I'll link the sink below. It also came with this. I got it from Lowe's, so good. And in our last sink, this part was broken. So I'd have to like shove it up, but they're supposed to like self retract. <laughs> so I'm so happy that it like actually has the, you know, retractability again. I'm so excited and you did such a good job. You did such a good job. Thank you for being calm. He thought you were very cute. Okay, you guys, I just started making lunch and I'm like, oh my God, I'm not showing them what I'm making. So I am gonna try this now. I'm so excited. So I'm just making myself a little chicken wrap today um, using a Tumoros one point multigrain um, little wrap. These are awesome. I use these so much in the Olay wellness wraps as well for one point for like burritos, quesadillas, tacos, like all the fun Mexican food. I also do like sandwich wraps. Um, like there's so much. You can do a flatbread pizza on here. They're amazing. And then I'm gonna do some fat-free cheddar. And then you can do up to four tablespoons of this for one point. So I don't know if I'll use that much, but I'm gonna get it going so we can try it. And I also right there have a bowl of grapes washed and ready to eat. I'm a big proponent of like getting your fruits and veggies um, like prepped. And then they're just way easier to grab and eat as a snack. This is very exciting. I don't know if I should shake it. I can't really shake it. But if you guys have not tried the barbecue sauce yet, the hickory barbecue is fire. It smells good. I don't know why I wanted to sniff it. <laughs> don't judge me. Okay. Let's wrap it up. Let's give it a whirl, Max. All right. That is so bomb. And I love the blackened chicken strips from Tyson because they're kind of spicy. Mmm. You guys gotta try this combo. I think it's literally like two points <laughs> because just for the wrap and the sauce super low point lunch um wow it like really just tastes like regular honey mustard g hughes y'all are so good they have so many other sugar-free 
like stuff <laughs> from G Hughes. So let me know if there's any other ones I should be trying because I'm late to the game on this. I was late to the game on the barbecue. I've also heard their sugar-free ketchup is good. Let me know, but definitely would recommend. I bought mine on Amazon because I could not find it in any grocery stores around me. So I will link it if you want to snag one. All right, so my grandma just picked up Max. She's currently watching him. My mom has a real realtor thing today um but my grandma had a doctor's appointment so she just picked him up i just had him for a few hours and if you can see those clothes on the floor right there yara and i started doing a little bit of purging over the last few days as i mentioned a bunch of times on this channel i'm super super blessed to get so many clothing items in for work um but that causes a lot of need to purge those clothes i usually purge like honestly every season pretty much so I think it's just about time again because I'd rather donate these clothes to people who need them I go to a local women's shelter and donate all my clothes there and I know it can be really hard for them to find good like plus size pieces so that's where I like to donate but we're gonna do some purging and I know a lot of people love like a good closet clean out so let's do it <laughs> so back when I had Marie Kondo'd all my drawers they they're like okay <laughs> they're definitely not as good as they used to be this side still looks kind of good um but I really want to minimize a lot in here like I don't need this many pajama shorts and tank tops like so I don't know I just want to go through everything I mean I do really like the Marie Kondo method though where you can kind of just like look through and you can actually see all the clothes that you have so these are just like t-shirts and then this drawer <laughs> this is my like sweatpant drawer and lounge pants and you know tis the season of life right now i can't even open and close they're so bulky i need to figure that out so in the closet right here this is yarman's side this is my side i have a bit to do here this is all that we're donating at the moment um but i'm gonna go through um these are all like sweaters and I have some shirts here. I like never reach back here, but I know life will be normal again. So I don't know like what to purge, you know, like there's a lot of really cute pants and skirts, but like right now I'm just wearing lounge pants. So I don't know. We'll see these are like sweatshirts. I also really need to go through these. Those are like my workout clothes, like leggings and stuff. So and that's like winter stuff. So I need to go through. I need to wash this. I got foundation on it. I often do my makeup in this robe. If you guys haven't gotten this plus size waffle spa robe yet on Amazon, I will link it. It is so good. All right. So I thought first I'm going to do the drawer that's like the worst. My underwear drawer. As you can see, I can like barely get it open. Um, also, I always get questions when I wear these new tanks I've been wearing. They're like a really soft kind of tie-dye they're just from target i have them in a few colors i have an xxl i will link them they're like four dollars crazy so <laughs> oh this is bad it's really bad um got some tights but ultimately like i just have a hard time letting go of underwear <laughs> not underwear that's bad but like i just have a lot of it did you think i was talking to myself <laughs> but we're just focused on it and goes, I'm vlogging, I'm vlogging. And like, I really just need to minimize because I forgot that I have this pair of underwear and I love this pair of underwear. Torrid, I love their thongs. Keeping it real here. Um, also, these sweatpants are a pretty little thing, if you can see. As I, back when I first got into that Marie Kondo folding thing too, I also did my underwear drawer and I've just slowly slipped away from the progress so alas i want to get it back in order so i want to have like a tights section also for all my little trendy queens out there i bought the gucci tights and i think they only go small medium large i have the large and they have way more than enough room so if you've always thought they were cool but you're plus size and you didn't know if they would fit they fit with plenty of room i think these would probably fit up to like a size 22 maybe 24. Just a little FYI, a little PSA. Um, like what is this? Oh, this is a bralette. <laughs> I forgot I had this. This is why cleaning out your closet is important and your drawers. Like 
I had a bralette section over here that's just kind of fallen under the surface. Like, this is from Aerie. This one from Rue 21 is so freaking cute with like the lace. Oh my gosh. And I had it in yellow. Ugh. Like a brand new Torrid bra. Because I get in the habit of just wearing like the same bra. I wash it every week. But you know what I mean? Like you just kind of get... <laughs> Hey, what's up? You just kind of get like in a groove. Another bralette from Aerie. So I think my course of action here, this is a slip. It's like, how often do I really need like a slip? But then the one day you'll need it. And it's so, it's just so awkward right now because I feel like I just want to get rid of so much given like how life is. Like I'm not doing much. <laughs> like I wear stuff like this every day. But I do have to remember that life will return to normal and I might need that slip. <laughs> but then I'm like, I don't know. Do, will I? Will I? Anyway, my course of action. Back to that. I think I'm just going to take everything out and, you know, figure out if I need it. Another sports bra. What do you know? Alright, so I'm going to put on a YouTube video or something to distract myself. <sighs> some sweet boys podcast so here is the update oh my god it's so much better and i know i don't know if it's tmi showing you my underwear drawer but alas here we are um so we have briefs thongs period panties bralettes fuzzy socks white socks black socks and fun socks <laughs> tights right here so much better then here we purged quite a bit. There were four rows stuffed together of pajamas before. As you can tell, I love PJs. This is my most full drawer. We have um, a little section here of Skims boxers. I love their soft lounge um, collection. It's so comfortable. So I have just a bunch of those boxers, these fluffy shorts from Aerie, just like a bunch of sleep shorts, a few sleep shorts here, and then tank tops and like sleep shirts. And then this drawer I really stepped back on and like cleaned out because there are just so many t-shirts that I've had that I haven't worn in a really long time. So these are like oversized t-shirts. Actually, this whole row is kind of like oversized, that trendy look. <laughs> and then we just have like some plain white tees, black tees. There's also some in the wash right now. Um, and... Yeah, these are just like regular old t-shirts. So I took a different approach on the pants drawer here. I <laughs> I just wanted them to fit so bad. So I ended up rolling them like this and I know it doesn't make any sense. And I don't even know. The Marie Kondo method, they were just like, cause they're kind of like big, like wide leg or like fluffy. They were like getting stuck when I'd close it. So this is what we came up with. We'll see how long this lasts. All right, so now we are in the closet. So I think first I'm gonna tackle like these little drawers in the middle here. Some of them are Yarman's workout clothes and then my sports bras and then um, bike shorts. <laughs> so I need to really like get into the organization with my workout gear because I work out almost every day now and I need a better system <laughs> because it's just not working whatsoever so let's try to figure this out so my top drawer here is all um bike shorts which i haven't been wearing much now just because it is 
holds. Um, but I feel like I'm not utilizing these drawers properly, you know? So I just want to reassess the situation also. Oh, I think I already showed you guys these back during Vlogmas that my mom got us. Like these sunglasses, I wore them probably once for like a picture and then never again. So, And then this drawer, oh my God, this drawer is my sports bras. It is overflowing with Fabletic sports bras. <laughs> only ended up keeping like 10 sports bras because like why do I need that many they can go to someone else who needs them they are folded but they don't look like it <laughs> and then we have leggings t-shirts leggings and bike shorts and it's plenty it's just plenty trying to minimize all right I keep getting hot and cold <laughs> but I just went through this basket which had some old active wear in it. And yeah, now I'm gonna go through this one here. <sighs> Baskets. But I'm glad I cleared that one because I have a bunch of like Christmas attire, <laughs> like just Christmas sweaters and stuff that I wanna pack away till next year. Oh my God, I forgot. I love this hat. I have like hats and <laughs> this looks so bad when I don't have makeup on. Hello. Hello, I'm a want to be Parisian. I bought this from Target a while back. It says Boss Babe, it's from Tone It Up. And I love it off me, but the fit on me, there's something about it that just like doesn't look right. And I love how I look in baseball hats. I really do. But uh, you know, there's just something about the other one that just didn't work. I think Gabby got me this when she went to Bermuda. I think this was my grandpa's hat. Yalaha, Florida? Don't know. Oh, these are my favorite. These are from True & Co, I believe, yeah. These are so nice when you don't wanna wear a real bra but you want support. This alien hat, I never wear. I've had it for a long time. This David Dobrik clickbait hat can be donated. I went through like a month phase where I was a vlog squad lover. <laughs> this pink teddy cap I used to love. I don't wear it anymore. I love this scarf. This was from my JCPenney video. Oh, uh, we got this mustard hat. I just simply don't wear it. We'll definitely keep this red beret. I love red, I love berets. This little pom-pom beret. I don't really wear this. I wear this a lot, my LA hat, Cape Cod hat. I love, I do really love baseball caps. Oh, my little baker's boy hat. It was like, hey, Sharpay Evans here for her solo. Actually, Sharpay and Ryan was the same Ryan. <sighs> I need to let go. I remember I bought this one on sale from Rue 21, Charlotte Ruse, for like a few bucks. And I just, oh, I just love it. I can't get rid of it. And it's breathable. So my head doesn't get hot. This one is tight and makes my head hurt. Oh, it got Sherpa. This is what happens when your head's too big. <laughs> and these are made for like teeny boppers. Let's just move on from that one. Um, Dunder Mifflin Keep. Oh, this is one of my favorite Baker's Boy hats. So good. Life will be normal one day and I'm going to wear it, I promise. <laughs> We've got a plain black beret. We will keep um, my little Louis Vuitton scarf. I need to tie that around a bag. Oops. We have another baseball hat. It says honey, but it's got a bunch of makeup stains. Um, these look like some sort of Spanx. Where are these from? Oh, they're Spanx. Hmm. We'll keep those, those are expensive. Oh, I love this beret. I love that. Aw, this was one of the first gifts Yara got for me back when we first started dating. When he went to the Coca-Cola factory with his friends and he knows I love Diet Coke, he brought me this and two Diet Coke ornaments. I remember I wore this when I went to a theme park, like, I want to say a few years ago, but maybe a year ago. Oh my god, I put that on the floor. 
<laughs> I did not mean to put that on the floor. This little Adidas hat I don't wear. We've got another black beret. We can donate one. Oh, I love this. Kind of giraffe print. Can you tell she loves berets? Uh, my Red Sox hat. This needs to be washed. This hell yeah hat can go. This leather hat can go. What on earth? Like Alex. <laughs> I bought this from Primark. <laughs> I was going to wear it when I went to Disney, but like, I didn't wear it. We've got another Baker's Boy hat. It just looks so bad with this right now, but it's so cute. A leopard beret, but of course. Oh, I love this purse. I'm pretty sure Sarah got me this from Tons of Blush. We got some scrunchies. We got another beret. <laughs> it's an addiction, really. Oh, this is one of my favorite berets with the stars. Oh, and that's it. Not too bad. <laughs> so I got to figure out where I'm going to put the winter stuff. We have like a winter basket downstairs, so I might put most of it down there except for the baseball hats. All right. Here is the massive pile of clothes that will be donated. Um, I purged some items and I also organized this bin with my hats. And then I ended up putting my leftover winter clothes in that bin, which are kind of hidden, which is good. Now the last sector is this. This I have the hardest time organizing and keeping organized. Like I have jeans, I have like, I think like hair down there, <laughs> like wigs from, I don't even know what, and hair extensions that clip in. We have bras, we have like matching sets. I don't even know. <sighs> Wish me luck. This one's going to be the worst because I just, I don't know. I don't know how to organize this properly. <laughs> All right, I'm back. <laughs> oh my God, so much better. So I have my jeans on the bottom and I also am donating a bunch of stuff from here. We have a couple matching sets, some like bulky sweatpant items that didn't really fit well in the drawers. Oh, so much better. Good morning, everyone. Hope you all are having a good day. I am now about to hop on to Pettitone. I'm gonna do a 30 minute cycle. Hopefully something with Cody. Let's see. Let's see what we should do today. Hmm. I'll find something, God knows, but I need some Cody in my life. He just puts me in the best mood. That was good. I have my industrial fan below me. If you have not done this yet, while you're cycling, it comes like right through and just like cools you down the whole time. That was the best playlist. It was all like throwbacks, like A Thousand Miles, Candy by Mandy Moore. It was so fun, so fun. And a really good workout, so I got a shower and all that. Okay, so actually, before I shower, that was fasted cardio. It is 9.50 now. Um, I got a new flavor of BPN protein. We have tried the chocolate, the peanut butter one, and now this is the fruity cereal. So when I do fasted cardio, I like to, lately anyway, have um, you know my breakfast after or a protein shake. And this keeps me full for such a long time. So this is like, Sorry if I sound like a broken record. I feel like I talk about this um, a lot lately, but I just, like, I have never found, <laughs> I've never found a protein that was good. Um, so it smells really good. It smells like Fruit Loops. Um, there's 25 grams of protein in a scoop. Um, a scoop has 130 calories or two smart points. And the peanut butter one and chocolate one had three. So that's cool. So I just do a scoop with some ice water. I hate the first time you can't find the scooper in here. I don't wanna like reach. I'm gonna have to reach into this. Oh, it is at the bottom. Ew, it's okay. I washed my hands. Let me just get some ice water. We'll do one scoop. If anyone is wondering, of course, my outfit is from Fabletics. It's like all I wear for workout gear. All right, I don't know why 
I prefer to drink it with a straw. I hope it's good. Let's see. Okay. Their protein's the best. I don't understand. I simply don't understand how, again, I've tried so many proteins in my fat life. <laughs> like, you know, like meal replacement shakes, like slim fast and all that, like, ugh. Just, it's all just so gross, like no. <laughs> um, but, you know, if you like a protein shake for like a meal replacement, well, you know what, just drink it whenever. Do what makes you feel good. That's what it's all about. So I love drinking protein after I work out. It makes me feel like more stable because I get kind of shaky after because it's like hardcore. It's crazy because I do feel like, well, I actually did this with the peanut butter one. I mix it sometimes with just ice and some unsweetened vanilla almond milk and it tastes like a milkshake <laughs> like it's crazy i feel like this one would be a really fun kind of like milkshake too this one might be my new favorite i gotta go show yar he's working right now but i gotta go have him try it because it's so good i have some 99 percent lean ground turkey breast thawing right now who else just has a massive stock of frozen meat in the freezer <laughs> um i like to buy it when it's on sale and save it um tonight i think i'm gonna make my favorite one of my favorite meals uh taco bake <laughs> it's really good i do my own like ww variation from when my mom used to make it when i was a kid um or a teenager i don't even know when i was younger it's so good it's kind of just like a layered taco bake and i use 0.99 percent lean ground turkey instead of beef it's pretty low point it's like so delicious like it's one of my favorites so i'll share that recipe with you guys later in this vlog but i'm gonna drink my shake and take a shower all right you guys sorry my hair looks like this um i have been doing some work most of the day i cleaned my office feeling good the house is nice and clean i deep clean the stove i probably should have logged it into like a cleaning montage but i was just in my zone listening to more sweet boys um podcast but i <laughs> asked you guys the other day for some show recommendations because I kind of just feel like I'm not really like loving anything I'm watching so you guys recommended um a bunch of shows thank you so much um but I'm watching Imposters on Netflix I think it's originally from Bravo I just finished the second episode and I'm completely addicted I'm in deep thank god there's two seasons <laughs> uh really good so far so if you guys need like a good show to watch it's like a dark comedy uh but i was immediately hooked and i feel like with a lot of shows i don't immediately feel hooked and then i kind of have a hard time like getting into it and, like pushing through to get into it so if you want a show where you're like immediately hooked and you're bored try imposters but um i actually decided for dinner we both just weren't in the mood for taco bake which was weird but i'm gonna make this other um like sloppy joe casserole from one of my favorite um ww like recipe sites drizzle me skinny i've made it before it is so good i will link the recipe below and i'll show you guys when it's done it is so delish all right so here it is i know it doesn't look super appetizing yar got big ol heaping he loves this so again i'll link the recipe it's essentially just lean ground turkey with like a homemade sloppy joe sauce and then some tater tots but i use sweet, sweet potato one i'm finishing up this vlog on the iphone so i don't bounce around babe he's like use my fancy big camera yeah. i promise i will gotta get close in there to see those nice little details of those tater tots and and uh <laughs> he what? loves this he's been asking this for all week this is so good. You like grand slam on this. This is delicious. Yay. It's good stuff. You are approved. I'm gonna switch to that camera I'm in the next vlog. The recording. I'm gonna switch to that in the next vlog, but I can't switch to this fancy camera when I'm almost done with this vlog. Okay. Alright. I need to get my camera fixed.